Hey guys, it's Chris from Wiring Specialties and today we're going to be going over how to use a multimeter to test continuity. In this video, I will be demonstrating using two types of multimeters that can be found at your local electronics store. Before going any further, I would like to point out you can only test continuity when the wires or connectors you are testing are not powered. To test continuity, you are actually testing for the resistance or ohms between two given points because the resistance of wires is very small, usually less than 100 ohms. Continuity tests are used to determine if your soldering or wiring is complete or for searching for breaks or shorts in the system. I will now show several examples of continuity tests. Always test to make sure that your multimeter is working before starting the test by brushing the two tips together and verifying that you either hear a beep or that the resistance is being tested. Oftentimes your battery may be low or not in the right mode. It is also good to note that continuity is non-directional. You can switch the probes and still achieve the same result. In this example, we will be using the digital multimeter that beeps as well as the Wiring Specialties Pro SR20 coil pack harness. Identify the terminal that is to be tested and place the first probe on that terminal. In this case, we will be testing the green wire. You can then proceed to probe the opposite connector for which you are trying to locate. As you can hear, the multimeter is beeping and the wire has been found. In this example, we will repeat the exact same process, however, we will use the multimeter that displays the resistance. Another benefit of using the multimeter while checking continuity is the ability to find grounds. In this example, I'm going to be trying to identify which wire on the factory harness is the ground for an aftermarket radiator fan. To begin, find a solid body mount, which in this case is the alternator bracket. Then begin probing each of the terminals and you have, until you have identified the ground. We hear the multimeter beeping, which has identified the ground. 